Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today on the channel, we're gonna be talking about how you can make your own MREs. So this is an MRE. The problem is, is that these can cost up to 20 bucks depending on where you buy them. That's Canadian dollars. You can make an MRE, a real deal MRE that's gonna have an entree that's gonna preserve for a long, long time for a fraction of the cost. And it's also gonna be self heating. And we're gonna show you how to do that today. So in order to make your own MRE, you're gonna need a few things. The hardest thing to find is gonna be these flameless ration heaters. You can buy them off AliExpress. You can probably buy them off Amazon. They're gonna range in price from 25 cents a pop all the way up to a dollar. The next thing you're gonna need are some Mylar bags. You're gonna need a small Mylar bag for your entree, and you're gonna need a larger Mylar bag to be what contains your entire MRE in. So this is gonna be serving the function of this right here. Very strong, very durable, very impermeable. However, under a lot of pressure, if it cracks, these are gonna be less durable than this type of retort packaging. And if you guys know anywhere where I can find this type of packaging, let me know because I've searched far and wide and it's very difficult to find. You're also gonna want some plastic utensils, maybe a napkin, some salt and pepper, some wet naps in there if we're trying to really simulate a real deal MRE. We have a protein bar here. We also have some crackers that we've vacuum sealed using a food saver. Now you don't have to do this, but like I said, this is just gonna help these things preserve for a lot longer. Another thing you're probably gonna want to seal your Mylar bag because this stuff seals with heat. And I find unless you have a powerful enough vacuum sealer, this food saver is not hot enough to actually melt this together. We're gonna wanna create a nice tight seal and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But this hair straightener is going to allow me to do that and fortunately for me, I'll never have to use this again in my life. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is make yourself an entree. So that could be any meat dish, uh, preferably something where you're gonna put some preservatives in there like salt is the main preservative that's gonna help it last a long time. So what we have here is a pot of stew that we made and we're gonna show you how to make this pot of stew into something which is gonna preserve for a long, long time. And we're just gonna scoop some of this into there and I'm gonna try not to make as much of a mess as I did when I was doing the pepper spray video. At least this stuff is less toxic. Leave all the watery stuff for the coworkers. We'll take all the meat and potatoes, literally. Do you wanna just grab me some paper towel? I probably need more than that. These communists are really stingy with their paper towel. So obviously how they do this in the military, they have a lot of fancy machines that allow them to do this in bulk. But essentially what they do is they make a bunch of entrees, they stuff them into these packages. Then what they're gonna do is they're gonna boil them in water because you can boil these bags. It's one of the great things about Mylar is that you can actually put boiling water into the bag. You can eat directly out of the bag and that is going to kill any microbes or bacteria which might linger, which might cause this to spoil quicker. Now what we're gonna try to wanna do is minimize the amount of oxygen in here and we're going to seal it shut. We're not gonna be able to vacuum seal it because this is a soup, so it makes it much harder to vacuum seal. Although there is ways to vacuum seal Mylar and I've demonstrated that on my channel before. I'll post a video to that up here. We're gonna try to get all that liquid down there, squeeze as much as the air out of it as possible. Then we're gonna turn on our hair straightener and we're just gonna seal it up. So instantly that's gonna melt. We're gonna make one more of these because I think I kind of screwed it up. Oops and we're waiting for the water to boil anyways. I'm gonna show you another way you can do this. What you can do with this, because you see these uh, convenient tabs on here, that's gonna allow you to peel, peel and pull. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to crimp it right on the top above that. So we still have the convenience. For the two guys that don't have a knife in their bug out bag, I do this for you. The only problem with this is it doesn't give you a whole lot of space up there. So if I was packing this for long term, I would advise sealing it much lower just so you can, you can ensure that it's not gonna open up on you. Okay, we know it's sealed. Okay, so here's our finished product. We got one where we sealed it right at the rim and then we got another one where we sealed it down below here. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to boil this in this water here. We're gonna let it boil for a while and that is gonna kill 
anything that is alive in there while preserving the micronutrients, of course. So this is something you can buy. This is called an oatmeal, and I would strongly advise against this. And the reason why is that there's 170 calories in this, and this is gonna cost you between 10 to $15, believe it or not. If you are going for something that you wanna preserve for a long period of time, you wanna go light on the fats because fats don't tend to store that well for a long period of time. You wanna go heavy on the carbs, heavy on the protein, and unfortunately, you might have to also go heavy on the sodium. While we're waiting, I'll show you how this works. So we have the flameless heater that comes with that. This is just gonna go right in here. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna pour a little bit of water in here. You don't wanna pour too much. And you're gonna see that this is gonna become activated right away. If the communist wants to get in here to get a better shot. We seal that up and within about 10 seconds, that's gonna start getting real hot. It's very important that if you do do this with your own MRE that you have some ventilation, otherwise the bag could potentially explode on you. What this company has done is they found a nifty way to take the meat out of the MRE and charge you the exact same price for it. So you're much better off just buying the whole MRE in which you're gonna get those other things like the crackers, the trail mix, the cheese whiz, whatever the heck. So I would strongly advise against oatmeals, but I just wanted to show you guys uh, how that works and just so you don't get ripped off by that company. So in terms of the other things that we're gonna throw in our MRE then, we're just gonna throw some Kirkland trail mix. Now, if you want, you can vacuum seal this also, or you can put it in another reinforced plastic baggie. We do sell Mylar bags at canadianpreparedness.com and we also sell the XMREs as well. So we'll throw that in there. Throw our protein bar in there, our crackers. And then once we're done all this, this whole thing is gonna get vacuum sealed shut with our purified uh, entree that we've put in there. And of course, we're gonna be throwing in our MRE heater. So if you want to vacuum seal your Mylar, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some of this food saver stuff. So this food saver bag stuff has this textured material on one side and it has smooth plastic on the other. What you want is you want to get a nice strip of the textured stuff, just like that. Just cut a piece of that off. Then we're going to show you how we're going to vacuum seal the entree using these two things and our food saver machine. The reason why you can't vacuum seal this on its own is because both are smooth surfaces and when you press this down into the food saver, it just seals the whole gap. You need this textured material so that there's air that can channel deep into the bag that can be extracted outwards. All right, so we're gonna unplug the element from our EcoFlow Delta. If you want more information about this, I'm sure you guys have heard about it. I've done a whole video on it. An excellent generator. We're actually gonna be doing a follow-up because there's a lot more components that you can use to integrate this into your home for a whole home off-grid, shit hits the fan power solution. Now, we've boiled our stuff and uh, it's, it's not that hot with the Mylar. Mylar cools down real quick so I can still grab it. And I will just dry it off a bit. So now that we've killed off everything that walks, crawls, and swims inside here, we can put this inside our main Mylar bag. And now if you want, I guess you could wait till this cools down a bit, just so you're not burning any of the other things in there. It shouldn't. So now we're gonna vacuum seal this all as one. So we've cut our strip of textured food saver material, and we're gonna just put that strip straight down into the Mylar bag along the edge. We're gonna leave about maybe half an inch or so above the top there. So what we wanna do now, I'm just gonna put that in there like that. This is gonna allow air to channel into the bag. So the actual seal is right here. That's where it's gonna get heat sealed along this line. And this is just gonna be sticking out just so it can suck the air out of it. And just like that. This will take a little bit longer than normal vacuum sealing because it's only drawing from that one little air channel, but it will get done. The only problem with these Mylar bags 
is this thing is usually not strong enough to seal it entirely. So for that, we are still gonna need our hair straightener. Another way to do this is just go like this while it's on there and just seal it just like so. Do the same on this side. There's a thousand one ways to accomplish this. This is the easiest way that I've found to do it with stuff around the house. Now you don't have to vacuum seal this. I'm just showing you that, you know, in case you wanted to keep the stuff preserved a bit longer. So there you go, you got your actual MRE. I've seen a lot of people, they make videos about how they made an MRE, they throw a bunch of stuff in a Ziploc bag. That's not an MRE. This is something which is actually going to last a long, long time. Now, as many of you guys know, if you've watched my video about food shelf life, expiration dates, you know that food typically is good long after the stated expiration date, and that has been proven in numerous studies. This will probably last for about five years. It, would I eat it if it's all I had to eat after it being in storage for 10 years? I guess I would have to. I would probably cook the hell out of it just to make sure I, I killed everything. But that boiling process that we undertook, plus the salt that's in there, whatever other preservatives you're gonna use, that should be enough to kill it off. The great thing about this is it doesn't require refrigeration, much like freeze dried food. So now let's pretend it's the apocalypse and we're gonna have something to eat. Just like duct tape, once you get it peeling, it tears really easily. So we got all our stuff in there, okay. Now all we're gonna do to heat this up, probably not gonna fit inside there, but have no fear. That's where our second Mylar bag comes in handy. So we can just throw this in here. I would put it in on the side because you do wanna minimize the amount of empty space in there. All we're gonna do is we're gonna throw that in there like that. We're gonna pour some water on it. Now the thing with this though, is you're gonna have to find a way to, to keep it partially closed. So you're gonna need some kind of clamp. So we're just gonna pour our water in there. This thing is gonna activate just like the last one did. This is something that's great in the winter time too. If you're bugging out, if you want a hot meal on the go and you don't wanna have to start a fire and do all that kind of stuff. This will uh, get the party started much quicker. This is something you might have out in the field. Good old Leatherman multi-tool. You see the steam starting to emanate. This is very hot to touch right now, so you don't wanna be touching this. As you can see, they work. These ones are, I think they're just MRE heaters. I don't know what the brand name of these is. You'll have to shop around online if you wanna pick these up. And the Mylar bags are pretty easy to come by. You can get ones which are reclosable for convenience. A uh, good thing about a bag like this is if this was in your bug out bag, you could potentially use this for other things. So you could use this for carrying water. You could use it for collecting wild edibles, uh, just collecting a variety of things. And these are also incredibly flammable. So if you wanted to get a fire, not necessarily a fire started, but if you had kindling already going and you wanted to get your fire roaring quickly, this would absolutely do it. So while we're waiting for that to heat up, let me know what sort of items you would put in your own personal homemade MRE. Um, I think trail mix is something that's great. You could even use tortillas. Cheese is something else which, if waxed, will preserve for a long, long time. Uh, chocolate bars might work. Any type of cracker, protein bars, maybe some cookies, some other morale boosting stuff, some candy, some gum. You name it, a lot of these things, they might get a little stale, but um, they're still gonna be more than edible. They're not gonna kill you. Those Tabasco packets used to be a commodity in the military and the guys would trade them for stuff. That's how sought after they were because uh, the MREs just tasted disgusting. These MREs, like the XMRE here, they have much better tasting entrees, okay? The one thing I will say about oatmeals, even though you're paying an arm and a leg for this, the entree is good. It tastes like beef stew. I would say it tastes kind of like a, a can of chunky soup or something like that. So all we're gonna do, because we're trying to simulate what we would have in the field, it's gonna peel that open just like so. If you want, you can add a little bit of salt in there and you're just gonna eat it right out of the bag, just like that. Mmm, this is excellent stew, guys. I gotta go to the gym and I'm eating stew and crackers. Oh man, excellent, guys. 
If I had this in the apocalypse, I wouldn't even care that the world ended. Anyways, guys, let me know what you're gonna put in your MRE in the comment section below. I'm gonna post links to all this stuff in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Now get the hell out of my house because I gotta finish eating. Canadian prepper out. The best way to support this channel is to support yourself by gearing up at CanadianPreparedness.com where you'll find high quality survival gear at the best prices, no junk and no gimmicks. Use discount code PREPPINGGEAR for 10% off. Don't forget, the strong survive, but the prepared thrive. Stay safe.